can autoimmune disease cause hair loss? And if so, how do you correct it? I've had another physician send a patient here who had autoimmune frontal hair loss for a hair transplant. And we sort of figured out that there was autoimmune problem going on and that process was um, targeting the hair. And so that's not someone we would want to rush into a hair transplant procedure unless we are to do some sort of treatment and get resolution and maybe it be assured it's not right and know, with our hair max, we tailor the hair max especially the medication portion of it we tailor it to whatever disease is going on we tailor it yeah and we can really really bring it back so the hair back the the um the important thing is well we need to figure out what kind of autoimmune problem it is if it's one, you know, that's readily treatable or not. And, and we sort of figure all those sort of things on a case by case basis. But that's one of the important things about having that dermoscopy is identifying that like right out, right out from the beginning.